Hello there friends, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to our channel and welcome to pre-travel day. Tomorrow we are flying to Orlando, but this evening we are staying here at London Heathrow at the Hilton Garden Inn. So I thought I would film a little pre-travel day for you, do a little room tour, show you the hotel. Oh, <laughs> it's a little windy as you can tell, and also show you the dinner as well here at the restaurant. If you are new here, then hello, welcome. I'm Serena, we're the Bannins, and as I have already said, we are traveling to Orlando tomorrow. So come along with us, let's show you around Hilton Garden Inn. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you do like Orlando videos because we're going to Universal and Walt Disney World for 18 days. So yeah, come along with us and let's get in, shall we? There's the boys <laughs> waiting for me. We have part in the on-site parking, which is £15 for the night. You ready? Yeah! <laughs> so this is the lobby as you enter. It smells lovely. A little bar down there as well. And then the restaurant is just around here. I've just noticed here, pay here before you go, a little shop with some food and snacks. I'm following you. You're following me? They've got some bits and pieces in here. Oh look, some wraps and sandwiches, Jude. Yeah. Oh, the microwave, coffee machine. It's always handy, isn't it? Oh, got a bottle of wine up there. Sweeties. Toothpaste, in case you've forgotten it. Some cables. Yeah, this is always handy to have. And as I said, the restaurant is just down here to the right of the lobby. For free. One's a king's room and one's a queen's room. Mm. King and queen. Oh, right, yeah. so one's here and one's right next Thank door. Whichever. So this is the what? This is the king. So 350 is the king room. Okay, let's all go in then. You are my king. <laughs> you are my king. Yeah. Mmm, smells lovely in here. Oh, that's a good space, isn't it? So we've got the double here. There is a double bed and you're sitting on the sofa. Oh. Oh, look, what's above the bed, Jude? And the pictures. Aeroplane. Aeroplane. Should we look out the window? See what view we got. I think it's a car park view. Yeah, we got a car park view. You can see an aeroplane when you just Yeah, we can see the aeroplanes over there to be fair. British Airways. I think the next door might have a better view though. Maybe a bit more over, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. It's good size though. I see a plane. Yeah. Oh, airplane. got a nice mirror there. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Nice chair. Television. Uh, I like Bathroom. Full size mirror as well. Oh, look at that. It and a like place. Our bathroom. Does it look like our bathroom at home? <laughs> really I saw the marble. Oh, you got the control, Jude. Yeah. In telly. In the for the telly. You've got a place to put your luggage if you've bought it up because obviously this is at a hotel and a wardrobe ironing board quite a few hangers iron towels and a safe and there's space up the top as well it does smell really nice in here though mm. oh i've noticed look <gasps> a kettle <laughs> oh, yeah. definitely need a kettle and oh yeah, this is lovely. <laughs> nice mirror. Yeah, these tiles are a bit like our ones at home, aren't they? Yeah. More towels. Toilet. And you do have shower gel, shampoo, and conditioner here as well. It's a massive walking shower. Eh? Hand wash and body lotion next to the sink as well. It's but really, I know. Oh, I keep saying <laughs> it smells lovely. Nice and modern, little side mirror as well. And that's a nice big rain shower as well. Right, we're going to the other room then. So it is a bit of a pain that we have had to get two rooms to sleep the five of us. So yeah, this room is a little bit bigger. Eat the food at the table. Eat the food at the table. So this is just a double. So you can tell the difference from the other room with the slightly bigger bed but then that's gave you the room for the pull out sofa bed 
could have put a nice armchair or something here because there is quite a bit of room but then I suppose if you've got your luggage you need that space same desk and telly and mirror as next door I wonder what that is it looks like a frying pan on the wall yeah. Yeah, we <laughs> there's one over there as well above the mirror it's a light oh is it a light? I think so. well, I'll leave the boys to have a little bit of a play Taylor's right we've got a slightly better view here so you can see more of the British Airways planes here and also a car park and there's the bus to take you to the terminal which I did see the sign for down in reception so I'll put that on screen now as well I wonder look in the um, wardrobe for me Taylor for the bedding for Jude is there any bedding? yeah good so we've got the bedding in the wardrobe for the pull out bed again place to put your wardrobe wardrobe no place to put your suitcase and tea facilities good size telly but yeah nice and spacious good size room same pictures above the bed nice long mirror there as well how's this bathroom not as nice oh oh no it's not is it yeah so this one is just plain white tiles still nice still modern still clean still smells nice toilet but this one comes with a bath and not a walk-in shower but you still have all the shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, body wash, body lotion, sink and then a mirror above as well. Towels, plenty of towels and there's one here on the bath as well. Your bin. But yeah, good size bathroom as well. So they are really spacious, these rooms. Got a hook there above the door as well. And wardrobe as you walk back out. Pretty much the same layout. And there's the bedding for the pull-out bed. I wonder if it's got a sheet on it or I'll have to make it maybe. An extra towel and flannel. Um, safe. Iron. Plenty of hangers. Ironing board. Oh, there's a fridge. I didn't see the fridge. And there's something up there. I don't know if that's a spare duvet, but we've got a duvet there as well. So Charlie's just found a fridge. We didn't open the fridge. Yeah, I saw the kettle. Well, that's a good size fridge as well, isn't it? And your hair dryer's in the very end drawer. Oh, there we go. There you go. So yeah, two good spacious rooms. So when we were checking in, he mentioned that the bar and the restaurant serve the same food. And the bar serves drinks until 11 p.m. and there is a nice little area isn't there just outside I'll take you there after we've had some dinner yes in my bed where's your bed in there we've got to pull it out you want to check all right well daddy remove the table and start pulling it out then so when Charlie was checking in and paying for our rooms because we actually booked these rooms on booking.com and we were able to pay when we got here instead of paying online which was quite nice um, but you do have the option of paying online obviously I went over to the restaurant which is called Jack's so um, I went there and just asked for a table for the five of us in about half an hour which was no issue one thing I didn't mention to you when I spoke to you outside was we actually stayed here last year as well when we went to Orlando so yeah we've stayed here twice now um, last year we had my mum and Nan with us so we again had two rooms but the rooms that we had actually had two double beds in them so yeah this is the first time that we stayed in a queen with a pull out bed which the boys are making over there and then the king room as well so yeah so there's the room tours for you so I've got to make the pull out bed because it has nothing on it but obviously that's all in there so I'll probably make that when we get back from <laughs> so comfy Jude yeah. I'll probably make that when we get back from dinner but yeah I think we're just gonna sort ourselves out as I said book dinner for in half an hour which is actually 15 minutes now so we'll go down there I'll take you along with us show you the menu show you the food and then we'll probably get a drink um, and go out to 
I wouldn't call it a terrace because it's not up high. What would you call it? It's just like a little grounds where they yeah. have like picnic tables and stuff. It's quite nice, especially as the sun is out and shining. Yeah, and they had a foosball table, didn't they, last year out there? And there's quite a few other little games yeah, I saw. There's a ping pong table as well. Yeah, in the um, lobby there was a few games as well. So, yeah, I'll show you that. It's a perfect location. It's literally just down the road from terminals two and three and also um, the long stay car park because we'll be driving our car there in the morning so it costs 15 pounds to park your car here overnight but then we're going to just drive over to the long stay in the morning to check in okay so we're down at jack's just looking at the menus waiting to be seated okay so we've sat down we've got the kids menu here so i'm just going to scan over it so that you can see and the boys are having when i say the boys Freddie and Juice. So Freddie is having the tomato pasta basil uh, garlic bread and Jude is having a cheeseburger. So there you go, there's the kids menu in case you're interested. And then you do have a two course or a three course menu here as well to choose from, which we've all noticed that it says Jude's ice cream. So we're gonna see if that's on the main menu to try. But you have three starters to choose from and five main courses and two desserts. And then you do have your main menu here. I am going to be going for the oven baked salmon, £18. Taylor's going for the noodles again this year but he's going to go king prong because next to the chicken it does say H which we think stands for hot because he remembers from last year it was a bit hot wasn't it so he's going to go for the king prong and Charlie is going to go for the gammon steak and then down the bottom as you can see you have all of your desserts all vegan sticky toffee pudding that sounds nice Jude's ice cream is on the main menu so we can give that a go cheese ball if you're not into sweets drinks are here so cheers to the holiday cheers, cheers guys <laughs> he's a good boy Jude <laughs> okay the children's mozzarella sticks have turned up pretty stuck in already they look good some ketchup to go with it oh wow I got this. Come on then, Tally, you have one. How cheesy. Whoa! Oh, nice. lots of cheese on that bit. Lovely. Yeah, like them. They sound crispy. Oh, they're good. Yeah? They're good. There you go. Wow, look at all that cheese juice. Um, cut You're going to cut it in half? I might have to let them cool down a little bit. Is Daddy going to try some? A little bit more. Some green. Nice. Right. Go on then, Jude. Hot. What do you think? Good. Good. Mmm. Mm. Very nice. <laughs> Very hot. <laughs> Very hot. Well, you would be moaning if the food was cold. Yeah. Good evening, what's the one? Yeah, twizzle your noodles. Oh no. That's, they smell really, really good. Whoa. <laughs> good help in the chips there. That's alright, isn't it? Yeah. It's good. What's it like, Fred? Nice? nice. Yeah? Um, oh, they're good. Not spicy? Not, Not spicy. spicy. It's so good. Enjoying my wine. So chilled. You're hungry and ready for your cheeseburger, aren't you? Mmm. -hmm. But then, mozzarella sticks were delicious, weren't they? Yeah. And six for a child's meal, I think, was really good as well. We were both expecting three, weren't we? Yeah. Right, Jude's has turned up. That is a big burger for a kid's meal. So, just to let you know, on the kid's meal, we've had to pay extra for the chips. So, yeah, and he's moaning about the lettuce. So he loves the colour green, hence why his glasses are green. <laughs> and then this is my salmon. Looks really nice. Try the carrot first. Mm. 
just as I thought, nice and sweet carrot. And the salmon. Oh, dropping it. Mm. That sauce is really nice. It's like a buttery sauce with a bit of chive. I think it's really, really nice. But yeah. Good. Mm. And then these, I think, are like a little potato pate. <laughs> Look good as well, and I've got a lemon obviously for my salmon, but I prefer to have it without the lemon. But good, <laughs> okay. So, we've eaten all our dinner. Jude chose a ice lolly, these are actually what you get on the Virgin Atlantic flights, or we did, didn't we, last year? So, it's an orange, uh, hit organic lolly. Open it, okay. Daddy, I'll open it for you. Uh, myself and Charlie got a sticky toffee pudding. This is vegan with a caramel ice cream. Taylor got the chocolate cheesecake. Freddie got the chocolate brownies and vanilla ice cream from the children's menu, which looks delicious. So we're all gonna have our pudding now. This smells amazing. Doesn't it? Vegan ice cream. Yeah, vegan ice cream. Vegan. It's all vegan. What do you think, Jude? Good. Good. Cold. It tastes like orange. It tastes orangey. Mmm. Orangey. Yummy. So our bill has just turned up. Um, it's 14108. And for Charlie to have two Coronas, my glass of wine. So I think for the five of us, Pretty much having a two course meal plus a starter to share isn't too bad and that's including a £12.80 service charge as well. As I said, staying in a Hilton hotel on London Heathrow property, I think um, that's not bad at all. We are going to leave the waiter a little bit extra as well just to make sure that he gets something because um, you never know, do you, if that's actually going to the waiter. So um, yeah, but there you go, just thought I'd add that in as well for you. We've just come out of the lobby and as I said to you earlier, they do have a little outside area. So they have some tables over there, they are covered however, but you do also have some picnic benches down there and also around here as well. And then as Charlie mentioned, they do have a ping pong table and then a foosball table out here as well. You are right by the main road, but I must admit it is silent in them rooms. Um, so as you can see, the road is running just there. Um, but yeah, it's a nice outdoor area, especially when it's sunny. Unfortunately, today isn't as sunny, as you can probably tell by Taylor standing there. But last year it was lovely and we sat out here for about an hour and a half after dinner. But the boys are just going to have a quick go on the foosball table. <laughs> it's a bit nippy, isn't it? Kick it. Kick it. I'm middle. There is also, we did go for a little walk last year and we crossed that road just in front of us and walked down the main road and that took us to a tube station. What tube station was it? Hatton Cross, there you go. So if you live in London or if you're getting a train and a tube. Yeah, on the Jubilee line. A pro at the uh, London Transport. <laughs> um, you could get here quite easily. It's about, what, a five minute walk? Yeah, so it's not far at all, so you can walk here as well. And uh, this is the building here. It's quite a big building. You're cold. Oh no. I'm tired. Oh, and tired. <laughs> Even though someone napped in the uh, car on the way up here. So you do also have a printer service here as well. If you need to print any last minute documents for your flight. As I showed earlier, this is the lobby. It's really nice in here. And then down there you do have the bar and the toilets as well. So if you just want to have a nice drink or a couple of snacks, you can do. I showed you in there earlier. And then you have your lifts up to all the different floors for your rooms. And there is some sort of game here as well. So I just uh, asked about breakfast 
tomorrow morning. So children under 12 eat free and adults are 16 pounds. Um, if we book now, if we go down to the restaurant first thing in the morning, it's 18 pounds for the adults. So don't know, we're gonna have a speak about that and see what we decide and it's served from six till 10 a.m. As you can see, we are back in the room. Um, I'll quickly talk a little bit about breakfast again because I know I just mentioned it downstairs in the lobby but I thought I'd quickly mention it again now that we've got the receipt in front of us and also as Taylor is 16 he's obviously over 12 he's half price so he was eight pound and then myself and Charlie to eat was 16 pounds so all together for us to have breakfast all five of us tomorrow morning it's a buffet as well I didn't mention that it's 40 pounds which considering I don't think that's a bad price at all especially if we have breakfast in the terminal tomorrow morning it will be about a hundred pound wouldn't it so that's what we're going to do we're going to have breakfast here as I said it's six till ten um our flight tomorrow isn't until three forty, so we do have a lot of time in the morning there's no need for us to get up really early and dash to the terminal so we're going to just take it nice and chilled have breakfast here, get in the car, drive to the long stay parking yeah. and then head out over to the terminal, check in um, and then obviously spend three, four hours before our flight in the terminal. So we probably will have maybe something small to eat in the terminal but at least we've saved a little bit with having breakfast here. Obviously this is mid-August so for us to have the two rooms uh, the king room was, was it the king room that was more expensive? Yeah. One three six seventy one, which just sleeps obviously two people, and then the queen that we're currently in with the double bed and the pullout sofa behind me, which actually must sleep four because that's a double. So this room does actually sleep four. Um, is one three two, oh six. So yeah. Again, I don't think it's a bad price and because where we live, for us to get here, it takes us about an hour and a half to two hours. But if there's a crash, I mean... It's game over. Yeah, any accidents, first thing in the morning, even though our flight's at 3.40, we just really didn't want to risk it. Oh. It's nice and chilled to be here and it starts your holiday one day earlier. So. We wouldn't have to get up as early and we can have a nice little like, rest in the morning. And it's just in the car. Car park, terminal, plane, away. That's it. So we don't have to worry too much tomorrow morning. We've got everything and what we haven't got, as I keep saying to Charlie, we will buy at Walgreens when we get there. Um, but as long as we've got ourselves, money, passports, our documents, sod everything else. Yeah. We're going to end this vlog here because it is currently quarter past eight. It's a shame, as I said, when we were outside, it wasn't as warm as it was last year, so we couldn't really sit down there and have a drink or two. And the bar was really busy, and it's not ideal for really Jude to be sitting in there. So we thought we'd come up. We've had a lovely dinner, um, really enjoyed it. Really is good. It was as good as last year. Yeah, food's brilliant. Yeah, all hot. Yeah. Tasty, fresh. fresh. So yeah. I highly recommend eating there as well yeah. if you do come and stay I'll here. It's not a bad price, as I said, for five. Um, and considering we all definitely had two calls, we had a main main meal and a dessert each, and we shared a dessert. Um, and we shared a starter, didn't we? Yes? I'm going to sleep now. Oh, right, okay. Well, it's time to turn the camera off, because Drew said he's going to sleep now, though he's jumping all over the place. But what's tomorrow? Flight. Flight, flight. Are we going on holiday tomorrow? Yeah. Travel day tomorrow, Jude. Are you ready to go on a big aeroplane? Yeah, I'm going back to Disney. Going back to Disney. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Hit the bell so that you get notified when new videos go up. And we will see you in Orlando very soon. Bye for now. See you real soon. <laughs> real soon.